what's up my future party agents welcome back to the channel frenzy pool and in today's video we're gonna check out red she hulk now red she hulk is the new character we're gonna get in this update and she is also the paywall character you gotta purchase the bio subscription pack to get her uh, unless they give us some event so that we can recruit her so we'll just wait for the update to pop in and yeah she looks damn good i love the design and they have adapted this look also because she has also another weird look in the comics so this is red she hulk and i have filled her with uh, the city of rage has been equipped and along with the power of angry alkaya so our skills are maxed out and we have a lot of odin's blessing on her <laughs> and we're getting a 32,000 physical attack with that getting a 58,000 HP and that extra HP is from her skill set uh, we'll get into that now this is with her leadership okay and she also has the gamma radiation ability along with this fire the flame ability also so we are not capped and many of the stuffs the crit rate and crit damage is not capped out still let's see what she can do now going into the skill set the leadership quality is the best fire damage increase of 65 percentage and 25 percent increase of the hp now that was what i was talking about plus there's also this passive also 30 percent increase of hp to all the allies also so that's like a lot of hp increase we saw a lot of stuff the agents did by increasing the hulk's hp so this is what she is having in as a leader and has the passive effect also and all her skills are flame so flame based so we'll be testing her out with uh, the judgment and also the obelisk with fire damage we'll just do everything we can with her and then we have the passive due to passive is increasing all attacks defense speed crit rate skill damage and this is fully for self okay so increasing her damage overall because she doesn't have a uniform so they need to buff it up okay if a uniform is coming of course it'll be that weird little one with the wings and all i think so talking about the skills the first skill is a basic skill which has a burn damage and the second one also has a burn damage basic physical skill the third one has an accumulation and also is the recovery skill and it's the one you can open up with also because it increases the attack and for each one percent of the damage taken accumulation starts happening and then you can land in that fifth skill uh, followed by the fourth one okay fourth one also is having a stun and nothing much text on that i think all these uh stats on all these skills will be changed when the update is live let's just hope it happens and then on the fifth we have this uh, burn damage and 20 percent increase of all attacks and she's invincible for four seconds okay just look at the skills in the previous skill section she looks good all her skills are really good uh, and we'll test her out and yeah that is the taunting move from her this is the first skill following up with the second both physical skills and you can see that burn damage on the enemy uh, on this one also for three seconds and this is the third skill which just buffs her up and he gets that all damage immunity and super armor plus increase of all the attacks right we can oh, use that to open up and then this is the fifth skill the fifth skill is an iframe skill which does this little drop at the end and look at that that still goes on attacking the the invincibility coming into act and this is the fourth skill using her sword he just slashes them all around another really good skill with some iframe so the iframe really helps her out okay i think the fourth one was having the heat right all right so go into world boss ultimate and we'll test her out in proxima and also ebony more also to see if 
some elemental damage will be applied and here we go proxima we will stick to stage we'll stick to stage 50 so i'm using the support of coolson and taskmaster here now she she is a hero so coolson support is going to work out for her and also we'll be putting an anti-venom there for the heal so hulk and abomination are the ones who has a really good work on the heals and survivability but the rest of the hulks are still suffering with regeneration and the heal is not enough to keep them surviving here we go we just shifted the third one into the fifth and then following up the fourth and you guys can see the damage is good pretty good Since this is a new character, the skills, uh, we need some time to get hold of these skills. But at the moment, I'm just using just three skills, and she looks pretty good. She is pretty good. We just play till four minutes. Not a bad character for just okay and here we go that's the iframe that saved her from not dying and uh, a minute is over and we are down to 10 more bars left with just her leadership that is pretty dope right that is pretty dope so we're just bumping it up to 60 and I'm using Abomination's leadership here along with this team bonus also and plus his support for the Gamma Radiation Allies so we'll see how it's going to work out okay now Abomination is going to be a really good character I know he is a Danger Room special training mission character but I think his leadership and support and also as a character self is also really good I think we'll be doing a video on him and since this is the Red She Hulk's video Stick on to her now. Yeah, this is stage 60, so the damage is going to be different, but still, you can see some movement. The thing is, uh, we cannot see her if the fifth skill is over or not because she stands in the middle of that lava crater. not bad at all this is without any strikers we are getting this uh, base damage from her and she looks pretty good yeah i got hit over there but over a minute and we have 14 bars left stage 60. all right so the next one have any more there's no all defense down in her skills i don't know why usually they give all defense down to most of the characters now in every update and uh, see now any more stage 50 and yep it's not working out because this physical attack mostly wait a minute wait a minute I saw some bump over there in the damage, but the Fimo went into an iframe. Okay, she is doing it. She is doing some damage. The fourth skill, the fourth skill is what is doing the damage to Ebony more. After the creator comes in, I'll just punch in the fourth skill and you guys can see. A bit of damage was from the full skill. So yeah, she can do it. Really. Not 
that we came into this uh, meteor phase in four minutes and yeah she can do she can do ebony i think so there is elemental damage in some of her skills and wow that was good so i want to talk about these new changes that they have done to this custom gear section you guys can see uh, some special icons on these and this is going to help you guys a lot because we can lock up the custom gears which have some certain important qualities right now checking into this this is the invincibility icon this obelisk has an invincible uh, for three seconds that's why the shield icon is uh, present on this custom gear the one over here the one with the sword is always this proc okay the one with the proc one with the proc has the sword image and this one is also uh and this one is having the guard break immunity yeah i think that is a guard break immunity i'll just confirm it with one more yeah it is the guard break immunity this is the guard break immunity icon this is the proc icon now just three icons introduced in this custom gear section this is going to be so helpful uh you know keep on rolling and then we can see which if we got a good proc or something so that is pretty good so i'll just use this fire damage obelisk here with has a 180 proc i'll keep that on her so here we are back again stage 50 of proxima and we are using the obelisk the fire damage obelisk for red she hulk which has a 180 proc and let's go just avoid that first spears from her and actually the third into the fifth the proc came on the fifth skill early i just wanted to proc it on the fourth skill actually She is so damn. I hate Proxima sometimes. Oh man, the proc did not come in again. I could not cancel into the fifth skill, you know. But look at this. We just finished a minute, and yeah, we missed a couple of skills, and we got 30 more bars left. This is good. This is a good character who can deal some serious damage with an obelisk. I know the build is maxed out, but still, we can get her to a minimum level build. Also, I think we can clear some stages. And now we are going to test out Red She Hulk again in the Ebony Maw stage 50, but this time with the CDP of Judgment. Alright, so let's just check this out now. Oh, I wanted to avoid that. Oh my god. The fifth skill did not land. Shit. Alright, now fifth skill again. And this time the fourth still did not land. <laughs> Man, I hate this. The fourth still does the damage and although her skills are fire based. The elemental CTP judgment is not working out really well. Yeah, compared to the previous one, this is not so great. So more than a minute and we haven't reached the meteor phase so 
that means the CDP of judgment is not not so well on her we'll just go into Proxima again so we're back to Proxima and this will be the final test that we do with the CDP of judgment and let's see how this works out avoiding her first spear attack and then landing in the fifth skill of Frenchy Hulk falling up to the fourth don't give her a gap to attack you and then you can you know get hold of Proxima and I think this is working out compared to the every more stage I think something something was missing in that every more stage but the judgment works fine look at this we are in 30 seconds in and 13 bars are down 30 more bars left Oh no, we got caught in the time freeze. Uh, we it for one minute. The heal. But this is pretty good. This is pretty good. This is not bad. Now she is going back to throw her spears at us. So, uh, in, a, in about a minute, we have like 11 more bars left. So this character is really good. She is paywall, but I just really enjoy playing with her, and not bad. Even with the city of judgment, rage, even with an obelisk, she did a really good job. Okay, I know the build is maxed out, but still. It's a test server so everything may change when the update is live but I think she is a really good character. So this is the review for Red She Hulk and if you guys enjoy the content do subscribe to the channel and we got two more characters to review Abomination and the Immortal Hulk's uniform plus his new tier 3. Right? So we got that to test out. So until I see you guys again take care stay home stay safe agents.